Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at search indexing. So in Sage X3 you have an option to search index. <clears throat> the search index is actually the uh, little magnifying glass in the top right corner when you first sign in. You'll see it up there by the navigation. So this is the search index that's managed by Elasticsearch. So in the system you actually have a way to re-index that add to it, remove it, recreate it, all that kind of fun stuff. So you'll have to be an admin or an admin related person because you have to have access to administration module. And then if you go down to the very bottom under usage, you should find search index management. Just gonna go ahead and load that up. So here you'll get this you'll get the search index with the options. You can update the index, delete index, delete all the indexes, and then schedule an index update. Uh, updating deleting index is dependent on the options you select here. So endpoint uh, should default to the one you're signed into. If not, make sure you select the right one. Entities are your classes that it's going to actually index based off of. So you can make everything searchable, certain things searchable, uh, locales, which languages you want to use. And then you get an option to delete the index before updating it. Or you can just modify what's already there and it'll just update what's already existing. So those are your two options. Um, just to note, if you delete an index and then leave the update modify records only, it will just update the entire index. So uh, if you plan on deleting it, you don't have to uncheck that. It will just do it all on its own. So I'll just do a quick run. I'll just update the seed folder and just run through the index. As you see, it was pretty quick, four seconds, but I also had nothing to update. Uh, so it gives you a log of what um, entities it updates and or modifies. So as you can see, there's nothing for mine to be modified, I didn't actually change anything. I just created the machine and then ran with it. But you can see it's just for the seed folder. So then you can go ahead and delete an index. So when you do this, it's going to delete the selected endpoint, just like it says in the message. So the endpoint I have selected the seed, it's going to wipe out the index and it gives you a little message saying when it's done. Uh, if you do all indexes, it's going to clear it for all endpoints. So this will clear all the indexes for all the endpoints. And then you should also get a message for that too. You'll actually get an index delete for each endpoint. I only had two seed in the X3 folder, so I got two little pop-ups. So now we're gonna go ahead and update the index. So since I cleared it, there's gonna be nothing to update. So this process actually takes quite a long time. So at first it's gonna read everything and see how many records there are out there, and then it's gonna update everything. So but uh, it's only going to update it for the C folder because that's all I have selected. So when you run an update, it's just updating it for the C. So uh, right now it's categorizing all the entities and figuring out what needs to be updated. And then uh, this process takes a long time. Uh, it can take uh, half an hour to an hour to a few hours. So we'll go ahead and skip that with some movie magic here. So now I'm already done. So I just skipped that half an hour process just to speed up the video for the sake of video process. Uh, so you can see here that it uh, finished, luckily. Uh, it took uh, quite a long time. So uh, <clears throat> you'll see that the index records were uh, updated and you'll see in this log here, right underneath where it has update, index, and complete. And then if you just scroll through, you can see what actually was updated. So that, like that table got 364 records. That one got 85, this one got 60. So it goes through and it just categorizes everything that was updated so you can see it. Now, if you want to test out, you can go ahead and close the log. And if we go up to search, I'm just going to use something simple like uh, sales order because sales order is really common and it's all over the place. So we'll go ahead and do a search. And so now I can see the search results. Now, this is pulling directly from the indexes we just created. and for sales order, you'll see there's two categories. There's a function and an index. I mean, a function and uh, data. So the data categories, category and then the function category, so you can see what the two types are. And then your uh, filter data on the right side, that's going to be solely dependent on what you're actually searching for because not everything's going to have dimensions and all that kind of fun stuff. So, uh, But that's pretty much it. That's how the whole indexing process works. And uh, next time, we'll take a look at um, clearing individual indexes from the back end. Thank you for watching my video.